Welcome back to my channel. Sandy, if you are new here, it's been a minute. Um, I've been on vacation and had a lot of things going on for work before we went on vacation. But I uh, wanted to do an unboxing today of this, uh, your creative studios. So I was watching a lot of other um, YouTubers like, uh, was it Joshua Ink Around the Edges and a couple other Paper Terrace, I think they had done unboxings for June and July, and they really piqued my interest in trying this um, subscription box. So let's dig into it. This is the August box, your creative studio, and they always give this cute little card, apparently. I don't know if they're the same or if it's a different theme each time, um, but I think that is neat. And then let me see if I can get this stuff out of here. I love this paper. I have to rip it. I hope everyone's been doing well since I've been gone. Um, I haven't even been able to watch a whole lot of people's channels. So hopefully I'll get caught up on that now that I'm back from vacation. But let's take a look at what's inside here. And I love trying to save the paper. I'll definitely use that. It's so pretty. I like that a lot. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Move this out of the way. And where do I want to start? Where do I want to start? Let's start with these little bitty stamps here. Looks like we have a squirrel theme going on with this uh, with this box. Maybe it's a fall. Oh, look at that typewriter, you all. That's so cool. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Can y'all see that okay? So it looks like we get two of everything. Here's some leaves. Oh, the pocket watch. Some more leaves. A little nod to Christmas. And then just some little, like a postage stamp. Oh, look at the bunny. So cute. And there's the squirrel. Oh, and that's a really neat kind of castle. How neat. Eiffel Tower. Some owls. Oh, another cute little house. Another happy holidays. Oh, and a sparrow, a book, some more flower. Oh, look at the bee, I love the bee. Some berries, chocolate, some more little leaves, and oh, an ink, I love that ink dauber. So that's very neat. Look at this next one here. Some more squirrels. Whenever I see a squirrel, I always think of that movie. <clears throat> Was it Ice Age? Where <laughs> it's like, squirrel! It gets um, distracted easily. That's me these days. Let's see here. Cute little label around that. <clears throat> so these are just um, little note little pieces of note paper and I love the texture it's a nice got a nice weight to it but very cute little mushrooms on there love that um let's take a look at this Ooh, lace oh that's interesting so it's a sticker but it's kind of a lace cut. That's very cool. Okay, I like that. I like that. And let's take a look at this one here. Oh, of course, <laughs> a squirrel. Can y'all see that okay? Cute little squirrel stamp. Let's say, let me give it a try. Find just a scrap piece of paper here. Excuse my reach. You ever heard of a 
blue squirrel. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, wow. The detail on there. I hope I could ink it up better. That's really cool. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, got a squirrel. Cute. Let's see what the other stamp might be. I'm guessing this is a stamp. Oh, look. It's a little bunny. Now, I have some bunny stamps, but nothing like this. So, let's try this one out. Oh, that's really pretty too. I like that. I like the detail on it. He's got his little hands up there like he's nibbling on something. That's cute. Okay. I'm liking this box. Alright, what do we want to look at next? Let's look at this here. Right. This looks like a bunch of kind of postage stamps here. And a postcard. Alright, here's the postcard. Okay. And it's kind of has all the manufacturing info on the back. So you'd either want to cover that or glue this down onto a page. It could make a cool pocket. Okay, it's not bad, it's not bad. So let's look at these. These are really cool and I think they're stickers, let's see. Sorry, I have to get it up close to me. Yeah, so these are little peel, peel and stick. So that's, that's handy. Oh gosh, we got a lot of different, got some birds. More birds. Destination, make sure I stay in the camera. There's a little, that kind of looks like a chipmunk, doesn't it? Uh, I guess it's a squirrel. Flowers. Okay, so just a variety, a giraffe. More birds, some botanicals, palm tree, more birds. Oh, the owl, cool. The owl's cool. Oh, the bear. That's cute. The squirrel looks like two of each. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know what that bird is called with the big long tail. A deer. Okay, very cool. I like these. And some more squirrels. Okay. Those are fun. I don't have anything like that, so that's cool. Alright, so let's check out this neck. There's a lot of stuff in here. So it was $28, if my memory serves me. I ordered it a long time ago. So, paper hidden copies. So, oh, they're their tickets. Now that's kind of cool. You could fussy cut around that if you wanted to because I don't think they're stickers. I think it's just paper. But that's neat. They're all different kind of stickers. Oh, is that Led Zeppelin? That's awesome. Love that. The Beatles. Oh, how fun. Led Zeppelin again. Here's a train. Lots of Led Zeppelin. Lead for your head. And some more Beatles. Oh, Disneyland. How fun. These are fun little reproductions. San Francisco. The Dodgers. How fun. The Ramones, love that. I like the Ramones. Back in the day. Well, that's pretty cool. 
I've been wanting to get some tickets and vintage looking tickets. All right, let's see what this is. Gotta find the opening here. This more squirrels and mushrooms, and you all know I love mushrooms. Oh, it's a cute little paper pad. Wasn't that sweet? Okay. Oh, and the okay, it changes. So you get maybe six of that image, and then six of that image or so, and then this image. Well, those are fun. Okay, I like those too. Wow, I'm liking everything so far. Let's see what this is. This is called Antique Bookstore. Okay. Material paper of retro pages. So let's take a look here. So they're all loose papers. There's books of the hour and books of all time. Books are treasure bank storing wisdom passed down from generation to generation. Okay. All right. So these are just different stories where they've pulled out a page. Oh, that's neat. And they have it in this uh tone or shade and then they also have it in a a darker so that's interesting is that too close i got just a smidge all right oh and then we have a little poem barefoot days okay and then little verses for very little people that's cute i like the images on this one too those little girls all right the sad little heart of a little trot. <laughs> I'll have to read these. That's so funny. Oh, and Cinderella. Cinderella or the little glass slipper. That's funny. Typo, probably. Flower, flower fairies of the wayside. Oh, look at that sweet. That image is adorable. And Dreamland is the next one. And, oh, Beauty and the Beast. Fun. Spring Magic. Oh, look at that sweet little fairy. And a oh, Water Lilies. Those are neat. I don't know if they really go with the scroll theme, but I still like them. So this will be fun. I can add them onto tags. Um, I could collage with them. Lots of fun options there. And then here's some, just some squirrel transparent stickers and a couple mushrooms. Those are fun. Yeah, they're transparent. I like that they're black and white. You know what would be fun would be to try to put a little um, ink on top of these and color them in. I'll have to try that. That might be fun. Oh, what's this? This is interesting. Thanks. Uh-oh, got to be careful with this one. Oh, it's like a homemade paper. That's really neat. I like all the little bits and pieces in there. Let's see how many sheets are in here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Looks like five sheets. Well, that's really neat. Ooh. I have to think of what to do with those. That'll be fun. Lots of stuff. All right, looks like I got two more items. Gosh, there's a lot in this box. I'll have to go back and watch some of the 
June, July. I don't realize, I feel like they had this much stuff, but maybe they did. Oh, look at these fun little tags. Oh, look at that little, is that a ukulele maybe? Whatever that is. Oh, these are really neat. And they're just blank on the other side, but look how pretty those are. Wow. Wow. Holy mackerel. Those are fun. I, I, I would ink those up a little bit because there's a little bit of a shine. Oh, look at the mushrooms. Oh my gosh. Wow. Have they started repeating yet? Let's see. I don't think so. Wow. Wow. There's a lot here, you all. That's pretty cool. I still don't think it started repeating. Oh, another mushroom. Ooh, I like that white flower. Wow. I still don't think it started repeating. Ooh. Oh, bumblebee. Oh my gosh, look at all these. Oh, look at these berries. Love that. I don't know, guys. Oh, wow. And now they have them in the darker. The card stock, brown card stock. It's like a mosquito, actually. <laughs> That's not good. We got bit a few times at the lake. Oh, I love the clovers. Ooh, I want to try to recreate that. That's cool. Oh, my gosh. And some more mushrooms. What does that say? A happy new year to you. <laughs> Are mushrooms good luck or something? Oh, I like the sunflower. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. I don't mean to bore you about going through all of them, but they're so cool. Wow. Oh, I like this black with the music in the background and the butterflies. Wow. Wow. I'm so okay for 28 bucks. I mean, gosh, you figure, I mean, these tags alone, you'd probably what? I don't know, five, six bucks for that. And then these over here, um, these right here. I mean, that'd be a few dollars, and then that's a dot. Hmm, I'll have to sit down and do the math and see. All right, this is the last item. And it looks like some washi tape. Okay, some black and white washi tape. Let's see if I can find the end. It looks like kind of like little um, evergreen branches is what I... Can y'all see that? Okay, not bad. I don't really have a black and white washi, so that's actually kind of a good deal. All right, wow, guys. So I'll clean all this up off camera, but I am really pleased with this box. I, you know, I don't think I'll do it every single month, um, but I'll definitely maybe do this a couple times a year. Um, because I really like a lot of this stuff. I think there's a lot of uh, functionality with them. And you can use them for a lot of different things. And I really like the stamp. I mean, gosh, stamps can be, you know, a rubber stamp like that could be $5. And these are cute. Yeah, so I've, I'm pleased. I'm happy. I give two thumbs up on this. Your Creative Studios, excellent job. And uh, let me know what you all think of these items. Is there one in particular you liked? Have you all done a Your Creative Studios box before? Um, and are you still doing them? Or is it just a one and done kind of thing? And if you did get a box, you know, did you use the stuff? You know, my, I fully intend to, but you know how that goes. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. And it's great to be back, and I can't wait to hear from you all. I've missed you all over the vacation period. So uh, 
say hi down below. Let me know what you've been up to. And I will see you all on the next video. And hit that like button. Bye.